Good morning, guys. It's Monday. I'm still in Palm Springs because today is the day after Coachella, so the traffic is gonna be so crazy today. So I'm not even gonna try and drive back until tomorrow because I don't think it'll be worth sitting in hours and hours of traffic. Hey. Yeah, like lemony. <laughs> Dried up lemon. Is water. Oh, it's lemon. Okay, you guys, Monica convinced me to go to the driving range with her. I'm not a big golfer, but my back is feeling a little better today, so I thought, why not go mess it up? Um, no, I'm just gonna swing really light at them. Maybe it will be fun. Who knows? Maybe. Okay, Monica, you better get a hole in one. Or else I'm never coming back here with you again. Body kind of lift. You want your body to stay where it is and just your arms move. So that you have do Shelby you should totally become a golfer to me it's just so boring like I honestly didn't even think it was fun we're going in the PGA Superstore I don't condone this I don't need to buy anything what are you shopping for well I want to look at the golf clothes I actually lost the sleeve to my driver uh -huh. so I need that this is Monica's Disneyland this is Jason's dad's. Oh, the tennis, the tennis stuff. stuff. Wow. That's cool, you can get a racket strung here. It's good to know. Okay guys, I'm getting the rest of the shots for the little IG reel I wanna make of my seven different tennis outfits. The lighting is best right now, so I'm just getting a lot of footage here because it looks really cool. Okay, we got all the shots. I think it turned out pretty good. Honestly, I kind of imagined it a little bit different, but it's okay. It's just an Instagram reel. I'm sure there will be tons of other fun trends I can do. $200 garbage can. What in the world? What the heck? All right, I've made it back home and I feel so unmotivated. I think because it's already 3 p.m. I don't know, the day just feels really weird. So I'm gonna take 25 minutes to just tidy up my place and then I'll actually get on my laptop and get some more stuff done. <laughs> but there's just something about working when your place doesn't feel super tidy. It's just harder to focus. Like there's gotta be a study on that, right? We'll do 25 minutes. This is decaf. It's just to get me motivated on my computer. Okay, my place is a lot cleaner. So I'm editing the Solid Core interview right now, Solid Core founder interview, and I'm gonna take a Solid Core class soon because I want to get B-roll of myself trying it. Anytime we opened a studio from the very beginning, we did a pro forma, and it was like, what's our total cost that we're gonna have to have? Okay, put my pre-packaged salad on the plate to make it feel just a little more luxurious. Let's put that aside for a second, knowing that I know that. It brings for me as well. Yeah, so what did you- 6.30, I'm gonna leave this video here for now. I got breakfast and lunch stuff. Some whey powder to add to my pancakes. It's just breakfast and lunch. It's pretty much the same price for me to just go to Chipotle, Cava, Mendocino Farms, or Sweetgreen for dinner usually than to cook my own food. Just 
it it ends up being the same but breakfast and lunch or maybe maybe it is probably a little bit more but it's worth it because honestly it's better than what i can make you know so breakfast and lunch we've got it on lock and i have some greek yogurt with honey and strawberry dessert snack thing morning i got up at 6 30 this morning i'm trying to get up earlier because i know i'm more productive when i'm up before you know people are bugging me about things but i'm making some of the banana pancakes that my friend sarah showed me how to make i'm actually going to a live ball class this morning i normally wouldn't go to one on a weekday morning but my friend erin is shooting it and she wants to get footage of it for live ball lvbl and I figure I could probably use some of the footage too. I whipped these up together super quick. They actually look so delicious. So good. Okay, so this is an advanced class, which I wouldn't normally go to, but this is the time. Okay, I'm here for the live ball class and there's no one here. I'm like, uh... <laughs> I am back home. Let's make a to-do list, a physical to-do list today. Really stay on it. We're gonna do finish solid core talk through. And then we're gonna do make solid core thumbnail, call Bruno, what else? Oh, that's good. Like, this can't be all there is. This is Anne Malum, founder of Solid Core, a Pilates studio with over a hundred locations. All right, I just made this little egg white mushroom goat cheese thing for lunch. It looks pretty good. Let's see how it turned out. So this video, it's very long. I'm not sure if I'm done with it yet, but I'm working on the thumbnail for a little bit. Got a solid part of this video done. I'm going to get ready, as in fix my hair, because I wanna make a TikTok and I have to do this interview and it's just not quite there. And I will answer some questions that I posted on the community tab on YouTube that you guys said. So let's let's jump in. Okay, first question. Jonathan Munita asks, will you ever move back to Seattle? I don't think so. I honestly don't know why I would. I just really don't like the dreary weather at all. I'm glad I don't live there anymore. The one year that I did live there, it was bearable because I traveled a lot. I mean, I'll never say never, but I really just like don't think that would happen. Next one we've got from Cough Drop. Funny funny name. Do you like your LA apartment? Where do you want to go next? Okay, I do like this apartment and I don't at the same time. I feel like no place is perfect. Everyone has, you know, probably some qualms with where they live, but this place has such good lighting. I love that I can walk to a lot of stuff and I love that there's a hot tub. So those are like the main things and reasons I picked it. However, I really didn't see it as a very permanent place at all. I honestly thought I would hopefully buy something by now, but I just, I really haven't. And I'll talk to you guys about that too. I don't think I'll stay here for super, super long. I don't know. I'm pretty content here. I feel like why mess with it right now? The, the things that I don't like are very superficial and small. Like I don't like the flooring. Okay. Not a big deal. Honestly, it would be nice to have some more storage, but to be honest, like lighting is more important than that. The cost of this place is pretty high for how small it is. I feel like it is under probably 600 square feet. Um, you know, like my kitchen is the hallway, the entry hallway, like it's very small, but it works for me. And honestly, small places are easier to keep clean, usually. I knew what was important to me when picking it. It was honestly the walkability and the lighting. Those were the biggest things rather than space is what I compromised on. It's not super big. Um, ooh, Joy Kish asked, do you regret not moving to NYC? I really don't regret not moving there. It 
It's not even something that crosses my mind like ever. The reason I love being in the sun, I love being able to just jump over to Palm Springs whenever I want is really nice. I just like really enjoy the nice weather and the friends that I already have here. I also love the tennis community here and it's just become like such a fun hobby for me that I don't think would have been possible for me honestly to get into in New York. Like I don't think I would have gotten into it. Here there's like a million places you can play classes. I've made friends with people who play and like I just really really love it. Like I want to play every day and with New York I would have spent so much money. Oh my god like the places I was touring were like five grand a month. This place is 3,500 a month but also because I see on social media like scary stuff there, you know? All these girls getting punched in the face. I'll see videos of things that happen in subway stations that are scary. To me, one of the best things about New York is that you can walk around, you can get everywhere by foot. But if you feel scared and like paranoid every day doing it, that is just a stress that I don't want. I feel like it didn't used to feel that scary. Like when I spent a month there, I didn't feel scared to walk around or any of that. But when I was there in August, apartment hunting, I did feel a little like hyper vigilant and I just didn't want that stress in my daily life, honestly. So that was like a big reason I didn't end up moving there was like, it's not the safest place. I think, you know, I'm not trying to fear monger, like you're probably gonna be fine there, but I just prefer to be able to not be like stressed out by that day to day. In LA, you know, you drive a lot more, so you don't really have that stress as much. MT27A, are you still looking for a home to live in in LA or are you just going to rent? Honestly, I think I'm just gonna rent for a while. I was talking to another YouTuber, Humphrey Yang, and he made the point that it could be better to just have your money invested in stock and then wait till you can buy the thing that you really want, which would be quite a bit more expensive. But the cost to buy and sell, the percentage that you pay every time that you make a real estate transaction is so much that it might just make it not worth it. The real reason that I'm gonna continue to rent is we are making moves on the Joshua Tree project. We got a bid from our contractor and I was talking to our draftsman today about a couple things that we wanna change. If we can get that going soon, I would prefer to not have two big loans at the same time. I'd like to finish the Joshua Tree project first just in case it ends up going over budget because like every real estate thing does. I just am pretty risk risk averse, I want to be... Okay. That's one thing I don't like about living here. It's very loud. It is loud. I am very risk averse. I want to have more than enough money for the construction loan for everything. I want to have enough that if something crazy unexpected happened like COVID again, it would be okay and I could cover. That's my thought there. So obviously, you know, we haven't broken ground on construction. Hopefully we'll get the final permit soon. We do need to submit for them. I'm really trying to get that all figured out like this month stress me out to get a new mortgage and furnish a place and maybe have renovations but then also have a new construction project going on at the same time i think i just want to do one at a time also i just haven't found anything in la that's that good in my price range somebody asked would you purchase a laundromat or self-service car wash from lightly noted okay i see the youtube videos about this mostly from like cody sanchez about buying boring businesses like car washes and laundromats all i see is a headache i see it's probably harder than it looks to find a really good deal i see yourself you're buying yourself a job that you might not want i don't think i would ever do it i really like if i'm gonna invest in a business or like spend money on something something that i would be excited about owning even if it wasn't doing super well because there's always that chance of that happening. That's why with the Palm Springs Airbnb, if it's just breaking even, I'm kind of still just like, that's okay. But if I owned, if I bought a laundromat and it wasn't making money, oh, I'd be pissed because I'm sure it's annoying. Things probably always break. I've heard that the competition is fierce. If you open a laundromat near another one or a car wash near another one, people definitely have successful boring businesses, but I think that it's just not for me. Um, I do like watching the videos about them though. I think it's fun. I, I don't know. I like seeing her interview people who have random businesses like that. It's just kind of cool. Somebody asked, Morgan, I see plays tennis on her channel. Do you guys still talk? 
Okay, that's so funny because I actually did see Morgan recently. If you guys aren't familiar, we were roommates. How long ago? When I lived in that modern farmhouse a few years ago. And honestly, that house, as roommates, I don't think any of us all got along. Definitely um, made our friendship, you know, living with people can mess up your friendships with them. And we really don't talk. We really don't. But I do think it's cool that she's getting into tennis, it sounds like. Love that for her um we don't have any beef or anything like we've i went to a happy hour with lauren and alex and she invited them and like it's honestly fine she lives really far away and i don't know just like after that whole thing we just haven't really been as close and i think that's fine i don't wish any ill will upon her but i don't know that's that i guess somebody asked are you going to adopt a dog in the near future Ugh, i want to but no, I don't really seriously plan to. And I've been pretty happy that I don't have a dog just cause I like to leave my house all day sometimes. I feel like I would just like wanna spoil my dog and feel so guilty, honestly, if I left the house at all. So that's why I don't have a dog right now. It's just a, a lot of responsibility. If I had a yard, I think that would help. But I just know the sake of the dog I would have, I would wanna, be able to dedicate a lot of time to walking it. What would make you consider selling the Palm Springs house? Um, I think I would consider selling the Palm Springs house if interest rates went back down to like two or three percent. So that's the reason I like hanging on to it is it has that very, very low interest rate loan. Um, I would also consider selling it if I couldn't rent it out at all. You guys hear this? A lot of sirens. That one was a cop. Like, if I couldn't long-term rent it out even, which I don't think that would ever happen. I don't know. Maybe if I just wanted to reallocate the money somewhere else. But I don't see myself selling it. I really think of it as like a long, 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 long-term investment. All right. I just finished that call and it actually went really well. I like the ideas that they have, what they're thinking for content. So basically did a call with a company that my friend works for and they're looking for someone that can do social media strategy and content. And I was like, I feel like I could do that maybe. The only thing is, do I have time to do YouTube as well? You know, so I thought I'll at least talk to them and see like, is this something that makes sense? Is, do they want to work with me? Like do, what, what do we want to do? Here, but the call went well. I like their ideas. It seems like it would be pretty fun to work on. I'm going to city tennis now. I've taken a couple days off and my knee does feel better, but it's very bruised. I can't really tell from that angle. It is bruised and I have like a phone consultation with an LA area physical therapist who specializes in tennis stuff. So I'm gonna tell him about my knee and back issues. Could be doing that. I've had a lot on my mind today. This potential job, like it sounds like they do really want me to actually take like a full-time role and I'm like I don't know if I can and still do YouTube like that's a hard thing like if I had unlimited time yeah but it's tough we're gonna do a double batch today cinnamon and I put protein powder in them this time. Hopefully they keep me full for a really long time. Even without the protein powder though they do because it's egg white. All right, these look so good. Yeah, you really don't even notice the protein powder in there because I didn't add like too, too much. Wow, they're good. So to make this, you do one banana, half a cup of oatmeal, I do the one that has like chia seeds and flax and stuff like that from Trader Joe's. Um, I do like two, I, an egg worth of egg whites because that's all they had available at Trader Joe's was the egg whites. You don't need an actual egg. You can do an actual egg or just the egg whites, some cinnamon. And then I also do a little splash of oat milk to make it a little more thin, so more battery than like thick 
And there you have it, a delicious breakfast that I'm gonna have tomorrow too. Okay guys, I'm getting ready. We are going to shoot short form content today. And then I've got some other stuff on my to-do list. First one I'm excited to do because it's gonna be very two birds, one stone. I'm gonna make a TikTok about how I get myself to stop procrastinating, which is that five minute rule. Basically tell yourself you're only gonna do something for five minutes. And we are gonna do that with cleaning out the trunk of my car because it is a mess and we're just gonna do it for five minutes but I don't know I always end up just doing the whole thing you just have to set a timer and tell yourself five minutes then you can do anything else but it's two birds one stone because I'll actually clean out my trunk and I'll make a TikTok about it that I think can help people because that five minute rule has like changed my life more so for bigger projects than small ones like that okay spider in my car. <laughs> I realized a couple years ago I can get myself to do anything I'm procrastinating if I tell myself I'll only do it for five minutes. So we are starting a series on this vlog channel and also on my TikTok where we spend five minutes per day, just five minutes, you and me, you can pick whatever it is you want to pick, doing the thing that you've been procrastinating. So this can be anything. Today was the first day and I cleaned out the trunk of my car. It did take a lot longer than five minutes, but I'm only committing to doing five minutes of that thing. So I could have just done five minutes if I wanted, but what I often find is the hardest part is just starting. Starting. And once you've been doing something for five minutes, you have the motivation to keep going And that's exactly what happened with cleaning out my the trunk of my car um, It actually took like an hour because I had to sort through this box of stuff And I also had some clothes that I just put on Facebook marketplace for free And I just handed them off to the person and honestly I felt really good because it, this girl's boyfriend picked it up and he was like Thank you. She's gonna be so excited. And I was like, oh my god I hope she likes the stuff. I feel good about that And it's nice to finally have the trunk of my car clean because honestly it was getting embarrassing. I would open it up and if I was with someone, I was like, <laughs> don't mind my car. And now it's clean. So amazing. But yeah, pick something you guys and just take five minutes to do it. It can be sending that email that you need to send. A lot of times for me, it'll be reaching out to someone and I will just tell myself for five minutes, I'm going to write out what I'm going to like send or whatever. Just do it. Comment down below what the thing is. It could be cleaning. It could be work related, really anything working out just five minutes. You can do it. Okay. You can do it and follow me on TikTok if you want to follow along them. I'm excited for this series. I think we're all going to get our lives together. Gosh, lb.church is my tiktok if you want to see the tiktoks but obviously you guys will see them in the vlogs and we accomplished today's yay and now i'm just gonna finish actually making the tiktok to post um yeah i hope this series is fun for people to follow all right we're exporting <laughs> to go to the DMV. I've been putting it off for so long. The DMV was not bad at all, you guys. I was only there for like 15 minutes. They didn't get mad at me today. Last time they were not happy with me. I also got burger stuff at the store because Rayleigh is gonna come over. We're gonna go in the hot tub. But let's go finish. I'm gonna make a TikTok of just finishing the tabs for tomorrow's five minute thing. Okay guys, I'm prepping our burger stuff, um, but I just ran a quick two miles. I did do the five minute trick to get myself to go to the gym. I was like, I said to myself, I'll just put the outfit on. I'll spend five minutes just going literally physically to the gym. And then once I got there, it was, it was nice. Cheers. Mm -hmm. 